प्लीज ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट इम्पोर्ट सॉरी ओपन आर स्टूडियो एंड टाइप डन विद इन चैट ओके प्लीज आई नीड जस्ट वन कन्फर्मेशन प्लीज लेट मी नो हैव यू इम्पोर्ट एक्सेल फाइल इन प्रीवियस क्लास यस आर नो प्लीज लेट मी नो all participant please confirm imported okay so all participant please import pycas file i have shared within group download this file and save in working directory and import in screen number 3 it is same as previous file import and type done within chat okay please also uh, confirm me have we installed a package ggplot2 yes or no okay and uh, we have done some plots we have created plots yes or no i think we have just installed ggplot2 and not created any plot okay now we start from this point how to create a plot uh, for example तैमूर अली खान साहब पोस्ट आक्स कॉलर एंड इज सिटिंग विद हिज सुपरवाइजर एस पी इज फॉर हिज सुपरवाइजर नो हिज सुपरवाइजर गिव अ टास्क प्लीज draw a plot a ficus file draw a point plot so plot name point plot so here is the name of plot that is point plot a ficus file petal underscore length should be on x axis while sample underscore length on y axis so this is the description of our plot uh, dr uh, temur ali khan supervisor say please draw a plot point plot on ficus file Uh, x axis show uh, petal length and y axis show sepal sepal length this is your task so the first question should be arise the first question question number 1 should be arise in your mind which tool will be used 
for creating a plot. Similarly, when your supervisor say, please take picture of your PC of or your screen and send me, the first question should be arise in your mind, name of device, which device you will use for taking picture. You may use camera, you may use your mobile phone, you may use your laptop camera. So the first question for every task should be arised, which package will be used for this task? So which tool will be used for creating a plot? Which tool means which package? Which package will be used? Your supervisor replied, you need a tool name ggplot2 for creating a plot. So no second step, check its availability. Yes or no. Check. For checking its availability, you need to come on screen number four. Here is a screen number four. And this screen is screen number one, screen number two, screen number three, and screen number four. You need to click on package button. Here is the package button. Click on package. And after clicking on this package button, here is the search bar. Type here, ggplot2. Now I have this package, I have this machine, ggplot2. So I am typing here, yes. If you have this package, please type yes. If you don't have, type no. Please, if you have this package, type yes. If you don't have this package, type no. Okay, uh, almost uh, all participants have this package, no. Next step, when you have a device, you mach machine or any instrument, before working on this instrument, you need to turn on this device. For example, you want to drive your car. First, you need to start. You want to use your laptop. First, you need to turn on your laptop. You want to use your mobile phone. First, you need to turn on your mobile phone. So in R, how we activate or how we turn on a package. Here is our word library. Library mean start, activate, or turn on. Start, activate, or turn on. So for turn on any package, you need to type here library, library, and type ggplot to Select this one or click anywhere in this line and run message. When you run this message, library ggplot2, same line will appear in screen number two, library ggplot2, and a tick mark will appear in screen number four with ggplot2. You can say here is the tick mark in black color within box. Please type done till this step. Okay, now next step is creating a plot. For creating a plot, we need three components or three steps. First step, 
you need to have a data. After data, you need to define mapping. And after mapping, you need to define geom or geometry. Data. Data should be in the form of rows and column like this. Mostly in the form of Excel, CSV or other file format. Should have uh, columns and rows. So we have a data set name PICUS. Second step. Define mapping. Our supervisor already have defined mapping. He tell us uh, at petal length on x-axis and sepal length on y-axis. This is known as mapping. Defining axis is known as mapping. So here in mapping, you need to define x and y-axis. While in geometry, you need to add type of graph. We also have the name of type of graph, for example, and Dr. Tamur Hussain, supervisor, uh, give a task and uh, this task show that you need to draw a point plot. So this is the geometry. Point plot is a geometry. Mean type of graph. Now your task is uh, create type of graph. Here is the point plot. Point plot. Next step, write a script. Now we have a complete uh, requirement for creating a plot in R. We have data. We also have defined mapping. Uh, it's mean we have defined which variable should be on x-axis and which variables uh, should be on y-axis. And we also have a type of graph or type of plot. No. We need to move on next step. I have a question from um, any participant, please uh, open your mic. Okay. Uh, Tamur Ali Han, please share your, uh, open your mic. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, I have a few questions from you. Yes, please. Okay. For example, your supervisor say, please take picture and send me. What do you do? First of all, I will check for uh, packages for check tools. Mobile for tool. tool. Yeah, yes. First of all, I will check for machine. Yes, like machine first, in terms uh, of tools. Okay. First, you will check tool. Okay. Second. Second, uh, I will uh, uh, like well, what should be the camera result? What will be the focal uh, pixels? No. Second step, you need to find which function will be used to take picture. Yes, it will, it will be camera. Camera. You need to focus on camera. Although your mobile phone have a lot of functions, when your supervisor say take picture, you will ignore all other functions like call, message, WhatsApp, Messenger, Facebook, other all other tools you will ignore. You need to just focus on camera. No, yes. your supervisor say, please calculate this amount. 
by using calculator first you will take your mobile or uh, check your mobile availability of your mobile second you need to open I will check for calculator. calculator yes function of calculator so our mobile phone have lot of functions similarly in our each device each package have lot of functions for example no here are two terms packages and second term is function first term is package and second term is function for example your mobile phone is a package your mobile phone is a machine and the work you have done by using your mobile phone are these all functions for example you can call message picture video calculation and lot of other tasks you can do with the help of your mobile phone so call is the function message is the function picture is the function video is the fun function calculation is the function mobile is one but it is multifunctional similarly ggplot2 is a mobile ggplot2 is a package ggplot2 is a machine it is also a multi purpose for example it have more than 50 functions ggplot2 have more than 50 functions but no your task is create plot you need to ignore all other 49 functions and need to focus on the function which will give you plot similarly when your supervisor say please uh, calculate this amount although your mobile phone have lot of functions you need to ignore all one and just focus on calculator similarly in r ggplot2 have lot of functions if you want to check the function of ggplot2 come on screen number four click on this button ggplot2 click on it when you click on it it will show you a uh, another page and here is the list of functions you can perform all these functions all these tasks all this work by using ggplot2 so all this work all this list is the function of our uh, ggplot2 so this is the list of function of ggplot2 but as similar we mobile our mobile phone have lot of tools lot of functions ggplot2 also have a lot of functions now we need to find which function will be used for creating a plot your supervisor replied in ggplot2 you can use qplot and ggplot qplot and ggplot function it is ggplot not ggplot2 so these two tools will use to create a plot if you check the list of function of ggplot2 you can find in uh, q option here is the q plot for quick plot and uh, if you open g option here is the
here is the ggplot. So you can use these two tools for creating a plot. No, you need to ignore all other functions and just focus on qplot and gp, ggplot. So now you can use these two tools for creating a plot. Number one, you can use qplot. And number two, you can also use ggplot. No. Next question which should be in your mind, where we use qplot and when we use ggplot, you will use qplot if your supervisor say, please draw a quick plot. You have a short time. Your supervisor said, draw a quick plot and show me your data set. This is just a rough plot. But if your supervisor say, please draw a plot, we will publish it or want to add in presentation or want to add in thesis or want to add in any article, then you need to create plot by using ggplot. So qplot mean quick plot, ggplot mean grammar of graphics. In this plot, grammar of graphics will be applied for better visualization, for better uh, pixels or for better, better or good quality of your uh, images or plots. Sir, there will be difference of accuracy as well. These uh, the difference is only that you can, if you want to create a just rough plot, not mm -hmm. a quality plot, you can use Q plot. It will take less time because there is no grammar of graphics involved in this Q plot functions. But if your supervisor say, please draw a plot, we want to publish it. Then you need to come on. Uh, ggplot2 option. Its example is like your supervisor say please uh, call to uh, Dr. Taha. You have two options. Number one, you can call from SIM. If you need a immediate call, if you need a quick call, you must try SIM because if you use apps, maybe internet issue, maybe VPN issue, maybe some other issues. So if you want to create a, if you want to make a quick call, you need to use your SIM or dialer, SIM dialer. If you want to use a, create a quality call, like you want to create, you want to make a video call, voice call, you want to send video, then you will use some apps like WhatsApp, WeChat, or other tools for uh, call. So when you want to, or when you want to call a quick call, you will use him. And when you want to a quality call, you will use uh, your mobile phone, uh, your uh, WeChat or WhatsApp. Similarly, if you want to create just a rough plot and quickly, then you need to use qplot. And uh, if you want to draw a quality plot for publication, then you need to use ggplot. Okay. Now, first we will try qplot and then we will work on ggplot. So, our today task is using qplot for creating a point plot. Okay, please give heading and uh, no all participant type code by following me. First, we need to turn on this machine because we are using machine library. All participant please do library. ggplot to and run. Now, 
in second line you need to type qpl when you type qpl it will give you a suggestion and a help box in suggestion there is a function name qplot while in help the formula or the script of qplot is given general here is a general formula or general script for qplot you just need to uh, click on qplot button click on it now you need to provide three things here you need to provide three things where first is provide data mapping and geo so type here data equal equal ficus now our data set name is ficus comma here second option is mapping we want to define Title width. If you click on ficus file, it will show you the detail of your file. We have petal width, petal length, sepal width, sepal length, and species. These are the variables: name, petal width, petal length, sepal width, and sepal length and species. While we have 150 observations, so our supervisor say, please draw a plot between. petal width and sepal width petal width uh, petal length and sepal length petal length should be on x axis and sepal length should be on y axis so provide here first one petal underscore length comma second sepal underscore length comma now we have provided geom uh, sorry mapping now next step is geom for geom type here geom and select first option geom equal and select first option geom equal give inverted comma and type here point please all participant write uh, type this code and uh, type done within chat i have completed this code now i am typing here done all participant please reply me so that i can move next step Okay. Uh, click anywhere in this line. Click anywhere in this line and uh, press run button. When you press run button, it will show you a plot. But in my case, it is showing error. It is showing. So I guess error. I guess, uh, sir, I have created the graph. Uh, have, plot, you created, have you created plot? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, and share in the group. Okay. Uh, but uh, there are some or uh, few errors in this code. I want to explain because our two-day task is how to read and write a script and read and resolve errors okay sir excuse me sir i guess in your script uh, yes and there I are a lot of there are lot of errors uh, I, let me let me explain please 
Okay. In uh, error, uh, participant facing error. Type error. If any participant is facing error, please type error. Error, okay. Now we read error, understand this error and uh, try to resolve it. How to resolve this type of error? First, we check our script. Our script show that we want to uh, create a point plot on ficus data set. Petal length should be on x-axis and sepal length should be on y-axis. So this is our task. Come on this error. You need to ignore error in geom point. Just focus on caused by error. You just need to read caused by error. Caused by error show that object pattern length not found. Object pattern length not found. At initial stage, you may face two type of error. First is object dash not found. Second option, function dash not found. We are facing object not found. We are facing object not found. And it show that object pattern length not found. Object pattern underscore length not found. No, how to resolve this error? How to resolve this error? First step, check your data. and verify variable name is found or not found. Open your file, click on ficus file, ficus. And check here is the pattern length, sepal option, second option. So now our answer is yes. Variable name is found. Then second choice, second. So first step, you need to check uh, or verify variable name is found or not found. So our answer is yes. Second, check spelling. There may be a spelling mistake. Here we type petal length. Petal P E T E L underscore length. Spellings are also correct. So spellings are correct. No, third option is you need to check. Small or capital letters because R is very, very sensitive for spelling and upper or lowercase letters. R is very, very sensitive for upper and lowercase letter and for spelling. Again, open your ficus file. Check upper and lowercase letter P is capital, L is small. While in our script, P is small. So replace small P with 
capital P. And uh, now length L is small, okay. No our code is okay. Now run this code again. When you run this again, it will show you another error. No error is object tuple length not found. No object name is changed in our previous error. Uh, petal length. No next error is sepal length. We need to follow again all these steps. First check sepal length is found. Second check spelling. Sepal length. Spellings are wrong. L E N G T H. Length, no. I have corrected this spelling and run. But again, it show me error. Spellings are no correct. No check last step. Small or capital letter. Again, open ficus file. Check sepal. S is capital. Length, L is small. So apply capital S and run this code. When you run this code, it will give you a plot. Right click on this part, copy image and share it within group. And share this plot within group. So all parts and pieces done this step. Then I will move to next step. If you have any issue, uh, regarding uh, creating a plot or facing any error or unable to understand, please, you can share your screen. Please, all participants confirm. And if anyone want to share your screen, uh, you are allowed. If have done, type done within chat, so that I can move easily. Okay. And Dr. Taha, please share your screen. You are facing an error. Function not found. You need to read error. Uh, could not find function Q plot. It's mean uh, there is a issue within package. No, no, no. Please uh, ignore, cancel it. Uh, come on screen number one. Come on screen number one. On line number six. On line number six. Type uh, uh, hashtag. Hashtag. Or number sign. Shift plus three. Press shift and three. Yes. And uh, type object dash not found object dash not found object not found and give some points multiple points yes okay and write error in our data set error in data okay Come on, line number seven. Type hashtag and write function not found. Function give multiple points. Error in package. So when you found this type of error, function not found, how to resolve it? You need to check two things. Come on line number eight. Write a line, how to resolve it? Give hashtag. How to resolve this? Step number one. Come on, line number nine. First step, confirm package is found or not found. 
or package is available or not package is available or not second check please first confirm package is available come on screen number 4 and search bar from search bar. no 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 not from here cancel uh, here is the search bar below presentation type here ggplot2 you have this package already second no you need to move on second step check it is activated or not activated activate or not activate how you check you need to come on screen number four here is our box no 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 again please click on package and uh, wait uh, for my instruction please wait 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 here is a box box is blank it means your package is not activated before working on any package you need to turn on your package turn on your device so for this click on line number two line number two screen number one screen number one yes and press run button and press run button okay no you can check a tick mark appeared in screen number four with ggplot2 no your tool is activated no run this code line number four again it show you and uh, maximize your uh, screen number four it show you error again object ficus not found you have ficus file in screen number three here is the ficus file in screen number three but you but in data set f is small in ficus and you have type capital F. Remove capital and run this code. Now it show again you an error. Petal length not found. It show you there is an error in your data set. Please check spelling for petal length in your data set. There is a PET. You type PAT. You type PAT. Yes. Run this code again. No, you have done this too. Okay. Please, if any other participant have issue, uh, please let me know. Okay. No, if uh, your supervisor say, please also uh, because this plot point is in black in color. If your supervisor want to check the highest point belong to S1, S2, S3, or this point is S1 or this point as S2, there is no differentiation or there is a no labeling then how we define which is S1, which is S2, or which one is S3. So we are unable to define this point is S1, this point is S1, or this point is S1. So you need to apply color based on species. Come on this line or script, add comma, and type color, C-O-L, color, and equal. After color, type equal, C-O-L equal. C-O-L equal. And type 
species s is capital for species s is capital for species and run this code it will show you the species name with different colors for example now you can easily define now you can easily explain uh, which uh, one is s1 which one is s2 so red sign red point is red color is s1 so these all points belong to s1 green color belong to s2 and blue color belong to s3 so the highest point uh, belong to s3 and lowest point belong to s1 copy this plot open whatsapp group and share please if anyone facing error uh, please share your screen okay it shows you uh, that uh, uh, there is no uh, comma with uh, after point before color yeah please share your screen again Please check line number uh, 17, 60 or 70. It's showing a cross mark. It means your code is wrong. You need to add comma before color, C-O-L. C-O-L means color. Please add comma before color. Here, before color. After inverted comma. Please click after inverted comma and add comma. Please add, add comma. Yes. Now run this code again. Okay. Yeah, please close your screen and uh, Benoit Fire, please share your screen. It shows you, you don't have a ficus file. The name of your file is x5db. Please check your screen number three. The name of your file is x5db9dc. First, you need to change your file name from this to ficus or you need to download again original file of ficus here is a very lengthy name of this ficus file okay click here and just uh, after data please here is after data remove ficus now your ficus name is x5d please remove ficus and type here x5dd 5, not, not 5 digit, please. You can check the name of your file in screen number. Yes, here is a suggestion. Select from suggestion your file name. Select this one. 
click on yes. No run this code. No, your plot is created because your file name is this one instead of Ficus. So please download original file again or replace uh, this name uh, from uh, your PC or rename your file uh, from this uh, to Ficus. Okay, you need to add uh, comma after point. Point comma, yes, and type color, col, equal, equal sign, add equal sign, and add species. S is capital for species. And run this code. Yes, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, in our next class, we will uh, perform some other tasks. Uh, there is no issue for space. You can add two, three, or multiple space like this. For example, here is my code, and I am adding space. Here is a multiple space. Run this code again. It will show you result. So there is a no space before or after comma, but there is an issue of space within inverted comma. If you give space within inverted comma, it will create an error. It will give you error. For example, it show me to not find function geom point. So don't add space between inverted comma. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can add many spaces. There is no issue for this space. Just take care for space between inverted comma. Okay, thank you. Allah Hafiz.